there, there's a moment where Judas accepts what is, he, he has accepted that God has done this. Mm. He says, my God, I am sick. I don't understand why you chose me for your foul, bloody crime. Mm. So he, he has almost, I think at this point, accepted that what has happened has been preordained by God and that there is sort of something at work. And it's, you know, it's really sad because at that moment he realizes that, um, you know, there's no turning back and he, he uh, hangs himself. So I never actually realized that until mm. I just watched it right now, but there's this finally ex this acceptance. Mm. And I think that's kind of interesting because that's really the only, one of the only parts in the whole musical where there is this uh, suggestion that God is, um, is somehow present in the musical to some extent. Like, you know, it's not all just like, you know, possibly a delusion of, of Jesus or something like that. So it's like this tiny glimpse that God is orchestrating what is happening. It, I, I actually noticed something else this time as well mm -hmm. for the first time was the switch. So you notice there's sort of like three songs in that one song. So there's the initial part where he comes to the uh, religious leaders. Then he does a reprise of, I don't know how to love him. And then the end when he sort of is leading right to the, towards the tree is uh, suicide. But there's that, that glimmer of hope, I feel like, in that I don't know how to love him. You know, before, in, in the other two songs, he's always really pushing. He's really fighting, and he's really struggling. And then there's this moment there where he's reaching. It, it feels like for a moment he's, he's actually seeing something beyond what he's been seeing this whole time. You know, he says, um, I don't know why you affect me. You're just a man. Like, he's, he's recognizing that he's being affected in a more than that. And then he almost has kind of epiphany. It's quite present in this, um, in this version where um, the, the Hammond organ comes in mm. and he's, he suddenly looks up and right after he sings that. And yeah. I think that's um, something I also just noticed uh, as soon as I watched that. But uh, yeah. That's what I was going to get to is that um, there's suddenly this, he asks the question, uh, I don't know if you care for me. I can't remember the exact quote, but it sort of seems to be this realization, I don't think God cares for me. And that seems to be a bit of a question, you know, we, whether it's that song, I don't know how to love him. Um, does God really care? Does he really love? And for Judas, when he believes that God doesn't, that's sort of the final nail on it. <laughs> and then he comes to that final realization that you mentioned, that, that, that if God doesn't love him, that's where it points to. But does God love him is a bigger question that we... And does God love us, no matter what we do? I think that's a question we need to persist on. Well, that's what I always found interesting, especially, you know, as a kid, I, I've always thought about this, you know, is Judas in heaven or is he in hell? Mm. <laughs> this question, because he refused being used by God to do these deeds. Does that absolve him of his crime and is he in heaven? Or, you know, well, I guess he also hangs himself, so there's a question of committing the sin of suicide. Mm -hmm. So big question so that's why this next song that we're going to watch is interesting yeah what they do and basically one of one version is very obvious the other yeah. one is kind of ambiguous which is interesting um but is there anything one last thing i just want to say about this song is that he suddenly flips on everything so you notice in the first two songs he's and a lot of if you watch him during the show he's consistently challenging their their challenging authority you know, he doesn't want them to do that because he doesn't want to overthrow the nation. But then he says in this song, I'd sell the nation. There seems to be this big flip that everything he cares about really seems to change for a moment because it literally looks like at some times like he's been injured. <laughs> like he, he's flailing down those stairs. He's falling to his knees. He's struggling through it all. It's like when he wounds God, he is wound, <laughs> wounded an interesting 